nobody ever expects to have to deal with any sort of an emergent situation when they come to work. But, but that's exactly where Chris Parker found himself Friday night. He was driving a max train on the Green Line when he pulled up to the Clackamas Town Center stop. And I opened the door to step out onto the platform and I had noticed that the gentleman was in an altercation uh, with two other passengers. Chris saw the man swinging what turned out to be a pair of scissors at the other passengers. He was making contact and so I thought it was going to be pretty bad. At first, he tried to keep other people away from the man. Then the suspect pinned one of the victims to the ground, still with the knife in his hand. We're here to make people feel safe. And so we, you know, we don't have weapons, you know, that we at our disposal. The only thing I had was my flashlight. Chris says he hit the man's hand with a flashlight, knocking the scissors away. That's when he realized he had another tool at his disposal. A 10 foot phone cord that's braided. Uh, and so I ended up grabbing that from my bag and tied his feet together so I could keep him kind of like under control and I sat on his feet. Chris says the two victims also played a key role in holding the man down until police got there. Thankfully, they walked away with just minor injuries. You just got to let people know that you're there for them. Brittany Folkers, KGW News. When sheriff's deputies arrested the man, he made comments that made them believe his actions may have been racially motivated. So now he faces assault and bias crime charges.